I got two weeks in Patagonia. First week on Rio Gallegos fishing for giant sea trout. Second week, Jurassic Lake. That right there is sea trout heaven. The home of insanely big sea trout. Estancia las Bruteras. Welcome, Don Bell. Where are you from, Eric? I'm Norwegian. Norwegian, right? Yeah. Steiner, same same thing? Same thing. Same. Now hang on, Abbott, isn't this your no, second time here this year? No, this no no no. First time this year. Is it the first time this but year? This is my twelfth time. Ever. Twelve times. Yeah. You've been here twelve times. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's, that's the one, your honey. That one. Let me, let me see. Never you mind, let me see. That fucking fly will catch fish. <laughs> So I just bought a single hander. Woo! Just bought a single hander just for the hell of it. A nice sea trout and a single hander. I don't even. I just borrowed a rod. I don't even know what it is. It's Ajax. Six weeks. No, no idea. <laughs> what are we saying, Lawson? Thirteen pound? Uh, Eleven and a half. Oh. It was doing pound in the net apparently, so I tell you what, that's the biggest 11 and a half pounder I've ever seen. I personally call it a 20. I think that's that's living proof that Lawson says the scales are faulty, so we're gonna give it a 20? No. <laughs> oh, three casts, three casts. There you go. Six, seven, wait. Hold the type. Where are you going? Me? Yeah. Well done. Yep. Come on. I fucking deserve this fish, fishing behind him. Alright, cool, yeah. I don't like it on a too short line. I'll just beach him, right? <laughs> it's a 42% increase in catch rate if you 
like this, and it, and only if you cut it <laughs> off here, you get it like a crippled uh, girdle bug, and it looks more uh, tempting to the, the sea trout. Thirty-seven percent more tempting. <laughs> no, what you doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's always much. <laughs> You can have it super good. He just took one off. It's not working anymore. Give it to me. How can you take one off? Boston now it's here. much better. I'm running your fly box tomorrow. I'm going to destroy some of your fucking fly. Cheeky <laughs> <Jiggy> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did that on one of his flies? How would he feel? <laughs> And you can also cut them, I'll show you some. Fucking hands off, jiggy bastard. <laughs> what do you think, Carlos? Why is he, fight Why is he fighting so long? I'm bending into him. Because he's a huge 30 pounder. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Micro slip running line, very thin, no tangles. Onto a new head that I'm making, it's 43 foot long. It was able to cover this pretty big pool. This is a big cast, snake roll, big long controlled cast. Able to extend that leader, it's a 14 foot leader, 15. Just very, very controlled. I've hooked three fish in this pool. Not bad after just waking up after a lamb asado dinner. A couple of bottles of red wine, bit of a siesta, you know how it is. Hybrid tip it on 12 pounds, you know. It's holding this fish no problem. It's just joyous. Try it, son. All right, right. It's done. Patagonia is a long way away from home for me. You've got two options. You can either do what you do wherever you fish. So if you're Norwegian, you can swing flies and pull at rod like that. Or if you're Scottish, you can just let it swing round. Or if you're Icelandic, you can twitch, 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 which is all fine. But if you've come that far to a totally different river, I just recommend doing what the guides tell you to do. And it's very, very simple. It boils down to uh, retrieving the fly, keeping it moving, controlling the pace of the fly. I'm sticking with one pattern. I won't change that unless I need to get depth or if it's dark. Dark, or I'll get a little woolly bugger on or something like that. But you know, I might fish with four flies. And that's it, I won't change. And that means that I'm not thinking about flies once I've set up the line and that. Unless it goes really high, I might change to an 8 weight, but this is a 7 weight, and I ain't going to change. You pick up a rod, you go fishing, you cast it out, you control the drift, strip, 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 strip. Lawson, one of the guides here, showed me the uh, Lawson rhythm. It's how to strip. It's 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then round the circle again. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. I asked him what tune it was that he was playing in his head. Don't be so bloody stupid, Tom. Just focus, all right, focus. I met Scott two years ago on the river. Say hello, Scott. Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's, been a fun, it's been a fun trip, lots of fish. Yeah, it has, hasn't it's it? Been, it's been just sick. Yeah, it's it sick, is, man. It is the way it should be everywhere. It is. So, what is that, 13 fish? Yeah, two days. In two days, not bad, is it? We'll take that. And he's I casting off his left side and he's a right-handed caster. Is that right? No, you're actually not to be right. Well, left hand right. side. It's, been yeah. a right, it's a right handed river. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, 80% of the beach are right handed. Right, yeah. So it's a really, if you're right handed, it's a great river to fish. Yeah, which I am. Yeah. In, in, in your dreams, you are. <laughs> I wonder if I'd have caught as many fish if I was casting off my sides that Scott is. I'm just trying to make excuses for Scott, really, to be honest. Uh, the truth is, he needs to knuckle down and catch some fish. <laughs> oh, 
It's a guy's life, motherfucker. <laughs>